guy's a goofy, loose cannon kind of guy that uh, if I, you know, fell off of my roof cleaning the gutters, I'd want him to be there because he knows what he's doing. But uh, but he he's funny. Uh, he's he's boy like. Uh, but when the bell goes off, he's a professional. Uh, that was everything that I wanted to make him. Uh, and Bob Senator encouraged it all along the way. He said, uh, "You have a, a great sense of humor. We're gonna we're gonna work that in." And uh, I, 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 season three, four, and five. I, I think I was at my most comfortable. That was when I was flying. I, you know. I, they trusted me enough to let me ad lib. They trusted Kevin enough to let him ad lib. Uh, we would ad lib on the rescues because we now knew the rescues better than any director because we do it every day and they come in once a week. Uh, so we would we would walk over with, the, with you know because always right by our side were, were real paramedics dressed just like us. Only they had a sign on them that says "For Real." Uh, and they were right there, and we would all three get together, and we'd say, well, you know, we wouldn't bring them out that way. Well, we could do this, we'd do this, or another. and then we'd tell everybody else, can you position the car this way? And that's never been done before. Uh, but but th they trusted us. They they knew that we we knew what we were doing, and, and that we weren't, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, doing it for our own egos. It was based on uh, Jim Page. And Jim Page was, uh, he was, we always had technical advisors on the show. They were real paramedics on their off times, would take the whole week. Uh, and uh, they loved it. They, they loved being on a movie set. And their whole job was to tell the director, we wouldn't do that. And they said, just tell them, then walk away. Don't argue with them. And if I find out that they didn't change it, I'll fire them. But you just tell them that, you know, and they walk away. So that's that technical advisor. Then we had a technical consultant. He was a battalion chief. His name was Jim Page, <clears throat> and uh, uh, big guy. Uh, and he uh, he wanted the paramedic department. Uh, the, you have to understand at that time the politics were that the fire department didn't want paramedics. Uh, as oddly as that may sound now, they didn't want anything to do with it. Their mantra was, "We put out fires. We don't deliver babies." Uh, but there was a big segment of the fire department, including the the chief. Uh, who did because they saw the handwriting on the wall. They knew that their budget depended on whether they got paramedics or not. Uh, otherwise, they'd just be sitting at you know back in their lazy boys back at the house eating donuts, you know, and, and waiting for fires. And they were so good at, at preventing fires that that was a, a dying, a dying proposition. And so uh, Jim Page uh, really pushed for the paramedics. He was he was also getting threatened by his own bosses about pushing this paramedic thing, and uh, and they also hated the idea that he was the technical consultant for this brand new show called Emergency. They hated that, and uh, and so he was always being threatened. He was threatened that he, he probably would never be promoted up, and that's a big thing for a chief, and not being able to promote up to the chief if you can make it that far. Uh, so he was always being and uh, being threatened to just be outright let go by some of his bosses, and so when they were shooting this show, he was so instrumental and helpful to Jack Webb and Bob Senator with this that Jack one day decided he wanted to name one of the characters after him, uh, and so Bob. Uh, but when Jim found out about it, I mean, he went down <laughs> down there and he says. Thank you. This is a huge honor, and thank you very much, and I really appreciate it. But if you name that character after me, they will fire me. And he said, "Okay, all right. Nobody wants you to get fired." So they named, they moved the name from uh, Jim Page to John Gage. His weakness was uh, anything that was pretty, uh, uh, and he had a big heart, and and he he never knew how to say no. And his strengths are, is that he is the most loyal. And, uh, and this is either can be, be viewed as a strength or as a weakness, but he, he, uh, uh, he saw nothing too dangerous. And uh, that, that could, and did get him into a lot of trouble, a lot of time. He just pushed the envelope a little too far sometimes. How are you like Johnny and how are you different? Well, I, <laughs> well, um, 
pretty girls gets my attention. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, when I'm working, I'm a professional, and, and I will take it to the, to the end. Uh, if I believe in what I'm doing and I believe in the people that I'm working with, uh, I'll, I'll stay in the trenches with you forever. Um, so I guess in, the, in that sense, uh, <laughs> and, and I, I do tell a pretty good story, but I don't know whether Johnny ever told a story or not. Uh, he wasn't quite the storyteller. He was more the reactionary guy. He reacted to everything. And, uh, and I, Johnny was only funny because Kevin let him be funny, because Roy let him be funny. Because the whole world enjoyed, the whole world, you know, a lot of people really loved Johnny. But when he would do some of the things he would do, they would always look over at Roy to go, has he gone too far? And if what Roy would go, oh, like that, then everybody goes, oh, okay, Johnny's okay. Uh, so if it wasn't for Kevin, if it wasn't for, uh, for Roy, Johnny would, you know, that, sh that, that show could not have just been the Johnny Gage show. Couldn't have, couldn't, because there was nothing for Johnny to play off of. Uh, and, and Johnny is, is, if he's anything, he's a flawed human being who always thinks he's gonna get rich doing something. And, uh, and, and, and uh, Roy allowed him to be this crazy guy. But when that bell goes off, they're both right there. Did Johnny evolve over the course of the show? Do you think? Yeah, he did. Well, you know, and, and, yeah, he did in a lot of ways. He became more confident, a little bit more cocky, and of course his hair got longer. 